What's going on guys? On another adventure today. Cruising with the uh, special guest Willie, my friend Mark. We're heading in to look at some old sites today. So we've reached a little spot here and Willie is just a hooting and a hollering over here. He found some kind of surface find. Screaming to start the camera. Ooh. Is it whole? Oh, it's total poison, dude. Oh, man. Willie! It's my first poison ever there. Oh, that's Hobo. killer. Unbelievable. That is like a day Not maker the taken. second we showed up. Not even. It's got a little, few little chips, but. Oh, that's awesome, Willie. Matter. Congrats, dude. Shaking folks. Oh, I guess this is special guest Mark. He's joining us for the adventure today. Oh wow. That is a find, man. Oh my god. If you see all the little some of them actually have braille on them that you could so the blind can read them. And looking at this here, it's tooled. So that's definitely uh, a pre-1915 carbolic acid. Coffin poison. Surface. Day maker, congrats again, Willie. What a way to start the day. Thing was sitting right there, like face up. I can't believe it didn't break. I'm still shaking, folks. That's a shaker. A shaker. Awesome. We'll keep looking around, and this is the same spot I found uh, a castoria in there in the last episode. So definitely has some potential. That is super cool. We're definitely on to it. So digging along this almost looked like a, an iodine poison, but unfortunately it's not. It's tooled. Nice little uh, amber bottle. And then this mini clay pipe came up. I've never seen a mini clay pipe like that. It's basically the size of my thumbnail there. Super cool. They're usually twice the size of that. And then I was digging in here, and there's another bottle coming up in the hole here. Embossed. It is, it looks like a worm exterminator. Oh yeah, Mother Graves. Oh, that's sweet. That's uh, a super uh, bucket list find right there. I'll clean it up a little bit and I'll tune back in. Definitely a bucket lister. These two bottles just came up out of the hole. It's that kind of like a, almost like a pickle jar, but tool tipped. Awesome color on these. So the day's uh, really coming along here. This guy, I think, was uh, this has a machine made, early machine made on this guy. Wicked amber. Been picking up some of these massive bones, and I got another bottle starting to poke out here. Almost looks, I don't know if it's embossed, it's slick, almost looks like a child soother, and it is tool tipped. Might be a purple, not sure, or an aqua. Sweet! So the bottles are starting to come in here. We'll keep picking around and we'll be back. Hang on here, Willie said there's still a bottle, but he's... Oh my god, there is a bottle in the hole. I was gonna say, he's seeing things. <laughs> There's a, oh, this guy. I need the rock for you. It looks uh, like it might be embossed. Aha, Menard's liniment. There's probably more in there. There might be. That's another cool score. Good eye, Willie. 
Oh man, look at the color on that thing. Killer. Killer, killer colors. Oh yeah, we're laughing. We're really working hard in here, guys. And when you're working hard, you need the 12.5% alcohol. Found this, uh, almost like a little older lid off of a jar. Different than a crown style. Another Menards, or Minards, as the traveling bottle digger has informed us. A Minards liniment. And it's machine made as well. But the colors of these things are like right wicked. So, we'll see. Uh, Willie's telling me to come over there. I'm going to grab my shovel here. I asked him if he had any bottles to show and he said he had two crappy ones, so. <laughs> Let's go check out these crappy bottles. Show me the crappy bottles. In the pail? Yeah, got it. this older style screw top. It's not ground. Kinda probably like mid 20s. And then of course the standard ketchup with the bigger thread on there. 20s ketchup. So this glass mark on the bottom. Nice. Almost looks like a purple egg holder or something. Or there's a boot, there's a bottle. The whores. Graduated med here, but broken. So we're getting ready to head out here. Popped out uh, a little tool tip absorbentine. I think that was uh, Listerine before it was Listerine. Mark, my buddy, took off and he grabbed a couple bottles for himself. I guess the find for the day for me was uh, the Mother Graves Worm Exterminator. Awesome bottle, cool colors. Definitely can't go wrong with some of these colors in here today. So, we're going to hit the road. It's a special guest, Willie, is signing off. And we'll see you on the next adventure.